Hi, Karen Bouchard here, and I have with me Sibeli Sergio. And Sibeli is a yoga teacher, and she is the founder of Humble Warriors Yoga. And she also has a really cool program for women called the Joyful Life Blueprint. And I was at an event with Sibeli, and we were all being really creative, and we just kind of had a lag in the afternoon. And she said, would you like to learn some breathing techniques that are going to wake up your brain and just kind of energize you and kind of get your creativity going again? And so we were all very excited. We all said, absolutely. And so she taught us these techniques. And immediately, I thought of uh, all of my, my writers and creatives uh, that I get to work with and coach. And I thought, we all need this. We all need this to wake up our brain sometime in the middle of, of uh, working and writing and being creative. And so, Sibeli, welcome. Thank you. You're the best. And it was just so great to meet you that day. And um, But yeah, there's so many different techniques for breath. And this is one that doesn't require too much like body movement and it's less weird, I guess, if you're in the office. <laughs> it doesn't call too much attention to yourself. <laughs> you're not going to be doing some weird hand movements or body movements. So it requires to, you to either do this with your hands. So basically, I like to call it a reverse peace sign. So you bring the peace sign fingers down and everything else up. Okay, I think I got it. I've been yeah. So it's kind of hard because uh, like the tendons are so hand. tight. On which hand? Um, they're on the right hand. On the right hand, okay. Yeah, on the right hand. So on the right hand, you do this, and you're going to use the thumb to, to block your right nostril and the ring finger to block your left nostril. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're going to inhale through the right and exhale through the left. So sit up nice and tall, take some nice deep breaths, expanding your rib cage out and exhaling everything out. All right, get your hands ready, your right hand ready. Inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through both nostrils and plug your left nostril and inhale through the right. Switching sides, exhale through the left. Switching sides, inhale through the right. Switching sides, exhale through the left. And one last time, inhale through the right. And exhale through the left. And inhale, let it settle. And exhale, let it out. Can blink your eyes open if you're ready and if you already have your eyes open that's good you're good to go now if you need a little bit more pick me up you can do that two more rounds so you want to do it no more than nine times so no more than nine inhalations through the, the right nostril and that's that that's like the easiest way to kind of wake you up when you're when you're slumped for that two o'clock slump so Sibeli, why does this work? Why does this wake up your brain and your creativity? All right, when you inhale through your right nostril, it activates the sympathetic nervous system. So it activates that fight, flight, or, or freeze part of the brain. And when you predominantly breathe through your left, it kind of calms you down. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest and the calming down. It's like, everything is good. We just successfully ran away from the saber tooth tiger and we can now calm down and relax. So that's how that one works. It's pretty cool. Because throughout the day, our body naturally cycles through the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. And it actually naturally switches back and forth between nostrils. And so when you want to, when you're kind of tired and slumped, you want to activate that side. So. And so when you're tired important. and slumped, you want to be breathing in through, in your, right. through your right nostril. Okay. So then let's say that it's at the end of the day, I kind of want to, I, I, 
right? I ran from that saber toothed tiger all day long. And now I want to kind of like bring it down a little bit. So what am I going to? So show me how that other one works then. The other one is basically the same as the first, except for you're inhaling through your left nostril as opposed to your right nostril. So you're inhaling through the left, switching sides and exhaling through the right. That's for calming it down. It's really nice. Inhale through the left, exhale through the right. And again, you want to do that like three times. So you want to inhale at least three times through that, through whichever side, whatever you're trying to accomplish, um, three times, maximum nine. Um, that one is really nice for like, you can even do it in bed. You're just laying down in bed. That's what I do when I'm having a hard time, like falling asleep and just turning off the monkey brain. Um, I just do that one along with legs up the wall. That one is really, really good. It's like the mother of all like relaxation, restorative poses. You just elevate your legs and it just also activates that, um, that parasympathetic nervous system as well. Now we know how to kind of energize and get our creative juices going and wake up our brain when we start a writing session. And then at the end of the day, I know that monkey brain, right? I oh know my gosh. Yeah. We've been working yeah. on this all day and we're just like, keep thinking about it, keep thinking about it. Um, and can't go to sleep. And so mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. I'm oh, gonna totally. Do, it's you know, so inhale good. Through the right wakes us up, mm -hmm. uh, exhale through the left, and then we can reverse it. Inhale through the left to calm down. Correct. Correct. I love it. So helpful, my friend. So, Sibeli, thank you. And maybe yeah. another time you'll come back and you'll teach us another one. But Oh, of course. I'm going to be putting this one into practice. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, Karen. Have fun and keep creating. <laughs>